Oh, okay. Welcome, welcome. It's been a minute. Welcome to mm -hmm. another another Real Talk Forum. Talk Forum. Yep. This is uh, Sterling Carroll and Tak Amaru coming at you. What's going on, brothers and sisters in the world? Yeah. And what's going on I with you, man? We, we ain't been on in a minute. So let's, yeah, let's, yeah. let's, let's catch up. Let's catch him we'll up real fast. Up. All right. Uh, right now, you know, business is still kind of on the up and down because of the corona and all that. If you have a business or you're doing your own small business, uh, I'm sure you're going through the same thing. But, uh, you know, you got a lot of free time to do other things. I've, I've done a couple of uh, videos. Uh, I got a new podcast out bilingual podcast where uh, me and a, a, a Japanese lady are doing uh, we just got done doing Malcolm X and uh, we, you know touching on Black Lives Matter and slash B2 and all the social movements and then touching on the uh, everything that's going on in the states in terms of black and white racism and white supremacy and all that okay hold up slow that down that's a lot of stuff right there so you said you mm. did something on on our one of our greats, uh, El Haj Malik Shabazz, aka yeah, yes, Malcolm yes. X. Yes, yes. Um, well, he's I always like calling him Malcolm X. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. I mean, no disrespect. That's what he's known by. You know, I don't think anybody mm -hmm. takes that disrespectfully. Um, yeah. But so, what did you do uh, about what? You, what did you uh, cover? Well, about um, him? Basically, we have a thing over here called Movie Night, where we we show a movie, and uh, then we discuss it later. And I try, and I'm the one who picks the movies. So I'm trying to find movies where uh, it introduces a, a lot of uh, black culture, if I can. Because, um, you know, not, not on a, you have to always know about black people, but, you know, people know so little about black people that I find it is only fa fair that we do a, a movie like that. So in, in light of the whole um, George Floyd and and now God, all them all them brothers have been lynched, and and everything yeah, is going on in the right states. Um, yeah, I, I decided to do uh, Malcolm X, you know, which is quite a long movie to put Japanese through, man. <laughs> Talking about the Spike Lee, the Spike Lee movie, right? Spike Lee joint. Yep. Okay. Yep. Yep. Okay. So how did how did they receive it? Oh, very well. Very emotional. You know, everybody teared up. Everybody cried. You know, of course. Um, and and it it's good to shed light to show that this has been going on for a minute. There are people who've been talking about this for a minute. Um, Black Lives Matter is not the only movement that has happened, you know, and um, this kind of thing that we're going through right now happened back in the 1960s. Right. This kind of thing. What do you mean this kind of thing? Um, this uh, through, because of uh, the me, what I think in the 1960s, what, why I really spurred it up was they had TV, they had imagery. It wasn't just the radio channels anymore. Even though it was black and white images, you could see things. I mean, the media was just everywhere. People could watch each other for far distances and all that. For the now first we time. Have this, uh, for the first time, yeah. So, of course, a whole lot of things come out. You know, the, the, um, you know uh, uh, Kennedy was shot. Uh, the, fake, the fake moon landing happened. You know, all that, all that stuff went down. And, when, you know, when you're looking at the, the cell phones, and the internet, and all the things that are happening right now, it's almost like the same thing, just sped up. Okay. Um, of of uh, people awaking to, I'm not as free as I think I am, and I'm not trying to be placated or, or put back in my place. Okay, and and let me and also to add to that, like we said, it was the first time. You got to put it in context. The Vietnam War was going out, uh, yes. going on, and that that was the, the the real big focus, and that's when mm -hmm. the U.S. really really caught on to the fact that they have to start with the fake news. Because real news was, that, like you said, it was the first time they could see people from afar. But even in addition, they didn't really know how to, to jumble and, and confuse everybody. So people were actually getting real news. Right. And it was really making change because of the, like you said, the, the images that were coming across. As opposed mm -hmm. to now, where you get real images, but you get a lot, there's a lot of crisis actors. There's a mm -hmm. lot, they've really, really upped their game to, to try to keep everyone in confusion. They weren't, their yeah. game wasn't up back then. Right, right. They're staying on it now. They're staying on it. And what I told them, what I told uh, Homegirl on the last podcast was um, just because you think uh, these social platforms and all are doing well, remember it's on their internet, right. what they control. And uh, don't think that they just, like any, any freedom that you want 
any right that you want. You, you have to literally take it. If anything is given to you, you know it's not going to be what it's going to be. And right. we were given the internet. We didn't take the internet. Nobody was even thinking about it. We didn't demand cell phones. They gave them to us. Right. So if, they, if they've done all that, and they've given us everything, then of course they thought steps ahead to just in case something like this could arise, where, where people through connectedness can really start linking up. You know, now Japanese are all awake, or not all of them, but a lot of them are waking up to the fact that, hey, wait a minute, this is not as equal as we say it is. And America is not as great as we thought it was. It's like, yeah, so what? You know, by now, you know they're planning something else. They got Malcolm X documentaries on Netflix. Oh, other ones by? Um, yeah. not, not, uh, Homeboys, uh, yeah, that, that one that they just had came out. Um, the one that, where they're talking about who killed them. But they're not putting oh, him in a negative it. light at all. Right. You know what I'm saying? And uh, I mean, there's a show called The Family. It's like they're telling on themselves. Right, uh, right. The Family is about like how, the, how, how it works in the, the upper echelons of society, how they, how they have their own secret societies and not on no conspiracy thing. You watch The Family, it is not conspiracy at all. Okay, it's really just information. It's just information, it's a docu-series, you know what and, I'm saying? And really what, when I, I just finished it re, uh, maybe a couple of nights ago and mm. it really, really shows how they, they use Christianity and they use right. mind control. And this is really the mind control of the people in their group, you know, to get them all on board. You know, that's how, one of the ways they stay on code. Mm -hmm. You have to give white people that, man. They are on code. All day, yeah. yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, um, getting across those kind of concepts, on code and all that, that is only gonna work because now we're such a visual people, including Japanese, I mean, just humans in general. You need things like movie night and movies. Like, no, you give somebody a book, they're not going to read it. Right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's, it's, it's better to just, hey, watch this movie. It's on Netflix translated right now, you know, and, and it's just speeding up. So people want to know out here, man. All right. All right. That sounds positive. Um, you sounds like it. you've been getting more done than me uh, in yeah. terms of, well, actually, I came to a kind of a crossroads, I think. Just by judging, you know, I had to get away from Facebook and get away from uh, a lot of exterior uh, distractions because I noticed I was getting lots of, I'm just going to say a lot of, a lot of dumb questions. Um, a lot of people who really, they're just talking to me. I, I mean, I'm not saying I'm special or anything like that, but I think that most of the things that I pump, they come from a, a black spiritual center. When I say black, I mean original. Black, like, you know, the, the blackness of the earth, the, the seed of the earth, um, you know, the womb is, is black. I'm talking, about, so I'm talking about the start. And I, I feel like a lot of people, uh, shout out to Donnell Outlaw, and um, uh, they, they just come at me with this, this, you know, like, I'm like, have you, clearly you haven't looked at anything that I put out, anything that I talk about, because you're, you're, you're asking me a lot of silly questions. Mm. Um, really about things like, you know, well, the reparations thing. Reparations is a big topic right now. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. Um, I, mean, I, I mean, I think it's a, it's a good topic, but even when people come at me and they're talking and asking me about it, to me, my answer to a lot of people who have mailed me is, and I haven't mailed you back, it's because everything you're saying is all reflect or all revolved around trying to keep everybody or keep black people in this illusion uh -huh. okay i mean reparations whatever whatever but you know when you get to a spiritual uh center and brother panic shout out to him really yes. really helped to set he always does and whenever he comes up with a tape i always hear stuff i might have to wait he might have a six to eight hour of uh <laughs> video and i mean I, I, he drops gems throughout the whole thing but it's somewhere around that sixth seventh hour that he'll just say something i feel as though it was directly to me and, mm. and, and in this case, it, it was just that. Like he, he was talking about, you know, how, you know, when you're the original people, you know, we start to understand that we're, we're, we're on, this is a temporary stop for us. You know, this is not, so it's not about uh, overtaking white supremacy in order to establish our kingdom here. That's something that we already did. We already did, and, and we're not- That is, that is real talk, yeah, that's, and, that's right. Yeah. And mm -hmm. something else I had read a couple, again, so for, you can say for the last month and a half, 
I haven't really been reaching out to anyone and I've been trying to go in and, and I've been rereading books that I read and really just trying to get meaning. And, um, and you know, just from that, I, I started realizing that, um, especially for me, I would say brothers like you, people who are really, really going in, it's not about fixing society. Uh, we're not trying to fix society. Society is flawed. It's, it's going to be flawed. It always was flawed. When we were uh, making pyramids and all this, it was still flawed. The, still the moment flawed. we came down into this body, and we're not going to go too deep because I don't want to go you know, too deep on people, but um, the whole thing is flawed. So what is it about? It's about being able to adjust ourselves to our plight and during the time we're doing so, what is the, the goal is what? To get your heart as light as a feather, mm -hmm. right? So you have to be able to deal with what comes at you because you have to remember that you, you, original person, you're the person who ordered all of this stuff. So if it's getting on your nerves, if it looks dangerous, if it's, it's, it's like I just told you earlier, I went shopping. I don't like going shopping in the daytime in Japan right now, especially because Boy, the housewives, my goodness, like they're out there and they're just giving their, their pressure. The pressure is just coming off from the stress, I should say. Yeah. And um, they'll cut in front of you. And, and I, I don't know, man, you know, some of it maybe, I, no, I'm definitely not imagining it. Um, mm -hmm. and, and I'm just like, wow, because if I go later at night, like around uh, after eight to some of these places where you start getting a lot of the people coming from work, mm -hmm. like even if they're women, but you can tell they've been at work all day seven, like even later than that, eight or nine, because the Eon doesn't close until 11 around here. So sometimes I walk in there like 10, nine, 10. All of a sudden, even if there's people there, nobody, everybody's about getting their stuff and going home. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah. They're about getting their stuff and going home and they're trying not to be, uh, they don't want to be uh, bothered. They're not trying to, uh, I feel like the women, they're trying to communicate. They're trying to let something, get something off on you. You know, and um, ugh, it's just, whew, this is you think why. It's like on the feel of like on the, like when wars, true war starts to happen, everybody starts getting real quiet. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? Like, like, like when it, when it went down in, in Germany, you know, and, and uh, nobody was really, I mean, you was hearing them get madder and madder, you know what I'm saying? But uh, people just started getting quieter, try to hide more, acting like they had nothing to do with it. You know, I watch a lot of these, not a lot of them, but I watch some of these, you know, the, the, the Nazi movies. And it's a real, it's a real somber attitude and nobody really wants to deal with each other, you know, okay. but a lot is going on at the same time. And it's right before the, the real war is going to happen. It's, it's almost on that. Like people are scared that something really is about to go down. Is that what it is? Um, I don't, I don't know. I don't, I don't know. I'm not, I don't, I'm not, I don't know exactly what you're talking about. Can you say a little bit more? I think it's, I think it's on this level of uh, people are, people waking up when people are saying oh we're all waking up it's almost as if you you want to believe that everything is cool but you're faced with so much so much that makes you doubt it and uh before you could kind of ignore it but now it's just it's always there it's always in your face that the COVID-19 thing really threw people threw people off you know what I'm saying you can't you just can't say right now that everything's okay just because of covid nobody now says what's wrong man everything's everything's fine and that's what people used to say to me yeah. all the time like so are you why are you so stressed it's a nice day it's a beautiful why don't you just you know and nobody does that with me no more and they're like yeah it's kind of messed up it's kind of messed up i'm like yeah you've never really thought you really had yourself convinced and now you're doubting how good it really is okay. you know Okay. You know, I, I ask uh, a lot of the parents now, um, do you think the future will be good for your children, especially kids who are like really young right now, you know, because, uh, you know, and everybody's like, yeah, I have hope for the future because everybody, every generation has to deal with their own problems. I'm like, yeah, but I mean, back in the day, you look at your kid and just think, have this beautiful image of your kid growing up and it's better than it was when I grew up mm. kind of thing. You know Progress. What I'm saying? Progress. I mean, last this year's winter was noticeably warmer. Uh, February was so warm. Yeah. Usually, when I even ask Japanese ladies, uh, older ladies, "Oh, it's it's uh, warm, isn't it?" and they, just because it's winter, they always say, "Samui, yeah, samui." This year is the first time they couldn't even say that. They were like, "Yeah, but and I'm like, "Yeah, 
you can't even say Samui now or you'd be crazy. Right. You'd be look, mm -hmm. Yeah. You know, yeah. so, so they, so that's proof of the global warming as far as I'm concerned. And then the whole now on documentaries here and there, and then the movement and anything you look at in the news and then the Trump thing. And it's just like, yo, you know, COVID. It's like, so is the world better or not? Like, you know, and, and people really are like, okay. it, it is getting worse. So it's almost like, like that fear of a war coming. Yeah. I think, yeah, I, you, you, I, I hear what you're saying. I think um, people understand that we are in the middle of something and something is going to have to happen. Um, and everybody is kind of waiting for that to happen. And, and the stress of that, the, the stress and the, what do you, the drum roll, the, uh, what do you call that? The, not the drama, but the, um, the, the, the thunder before the storm. Yeah. No, you could say that or the lightning before the lightning. the lightning. Yeah. Before the lightning. Yeah. Yeah. I think, um, people are kind of, yeah, they're not, they're not really, really secure about it. And I'm, I'm not really up on it because again, I've had the opportunity to really kind of go into a cocoon during this, this COVID time. And um, just to show you before, cause I want to kind of expand on what you said, but uh, some of the things I've been doing, as you know, I, I was lucky to, to uh, contact this brother named Jerry Miller. I don't want to mess his oh, name yeah. up, Jerry. And uh, he, he does, uh, yeah, the Oregon energy and he deals with crystals. And uh, I actually, this is one of the, you know, as you can see it, you know, one of the um, oh, benefits I got. Yeah. Okay, and like I said, it's filled with Oregon. Um, I'm going through healing process right now. So, you know, the fact that it hangs over here, over my heart chakra, um, can't see it in the screen, but you know, it hangs, you know, I already, you know, like this. And if you see it, it's the six pointed, the six pointed star, mm -hmm. you know, six, six is, you know, the basis of man, six, 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 you know, electrons, protons, neutrons. And, um, and it's also talks about, you know, because it's too, Basically, it's uh, what two pyramids, and you know the pyramids is harnesses the energy, but also it's talking about what the law of correspondence. For those of you who are you know familiar with the the law, the hermetic laws that govern. We're not talking about white man rules now. We're talking about laws that no matter if you about agree or disagree, yeah, yeah, whether you agree or or disagree or know about it or don't know about it, these things are are, are governing our universe. And of course, yeah, as above, so below. Um, yeah, so right now, and it's just, you know, universal balance has all right. of that, all of that is encompassed right here, um, and more. So, um, these are some of the things that I've been trying to meditate on and go in on. Um, yeah, as far as what you said about the, 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 the Japanese people talking about, you know, progress and being under the illusion of progress, and now maybe that's being interrupted. I wanted to say, I, I don't know, I think I told you, I had a, you know, um, I've been pretty much back, this past month has been a very, very busy month also in terms of, because uh, online, everything, I've been teaching a lot, I haven't been doing much writing, but one of the things that happened in one of my, uh, one of my um, classes with high school students is we were doing a paper or research talking about sexual preference and uh, sexual roles, and they, they were conflating the two. And uh, so I finally had to ask them, how many, or, or how many genders are there? And I actually had a, a girl, she told me five. Well, two five of these, yeah. And I was like, five, okay. And, I, uh, and then I, I went in my head, I was like, okay, LGBTQ. I was like, oh, you're talking about the LGBT? Uh. And, and she was like, yeah. And the other girl agreed. Now there was another girl in the room. She's younger than them. And if you know about Japan, the senpai kohai thing, the younger students don't like to disagree, you know? Right. But she, she couldn't hold back. And she said, uh, I think there's two. And I was like, ding, ding, ding. And I was <laughs> like, you cannot conflate gender with, with uh, sexual preference. And I, yeah, and yeah. I, I, I actually took out a plug in the wall. You know, I'm not gonna do it right here. What? Right? Yeah, yeah, just like this. Cause it was something on the wall, just like this, you know, magnetized. And I said, if you, if you take a look at this, see, this is electricity, yeah, right? The power. Yeah. yeah, plus yeah. minus, right? And plus being the, the, or the positive. Positive is the male. And you know, you know, you know, they're young people, you know, they got sex in the back of their mind. So they, they got it. And I was like, you, this by itself is nothing. This by itself is nothing. But when you plug it in, 
Now all of a sudden you have the power of energy. So this is, this is not something I can choose. This is now, this is science. We're talking about science here, you know, and the two girls who were saying five, you can just see in their mind, this, this, this gray cloud of just, well, no, that's not what the TV said. The TV doesn't, and they don't, but, but if you ask them to explain it, they can't explain anything. Mm -hmm. You know, and in, in these Japanese um, around the world, when you talk to people, they are heralded for their supposed, supposed uh, great education system. And mm -hmm. I think I was telling you, um, when I, I read uh, something about Hitler, and Hitler, he said Hitler, when you, you know, back on the, uh, before the war, when they were collaborating with Japan, he said his mouth was salivating when he was just seeing how you know, obedient yeah. the Japanese people were. So, and in my, my opinion, that is why the world always points at the Japanese system. Because when I came to work in it, and I worked in it for 10 straight years, universities, high schools, junior high schools, I was appalled. Salivating? Yeah, because, because he was like, yeah, because there's no thinking going on. You just take orders from the top. You know, and that's what he wanted. And Dang. Japanese, even now, you could say, oh, that was before the war. And, and this is what goes, uh, Watanabe Sensei, uh, shout out to him back in Hamamatsu, told me 20 years ago. He said, when I was, he knew I was doing research, he was like, Takazo, he was like, listen, he said, uh, Why all this. Black? <laughs> what, what, what? Hey, yo, Takazo, listen, listen. <laughs> nah, nah, go ahead. Oh, 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 I forgot, man. Pen name is Takwan. I said I did it myself. But uh, he was like Tak. He was like um, he said Edo era, uh, Meiji era. Now he said Japanese people are the same. We've been the same, and we're not going to change. And I was like, wow. And I mean, that always stuck with me because we all these different so-called reforms in education and policy and everything like that. The Japanese people themselves haven't changed. Yeah, they they up. Uh, they want to study English and th these kinds of things. But I always say, if America fell or if America falls, because it's looking kind of shaky over there, um, yeah, they say they could, they could chuck this English thing out the window in, in, in the next generation wouldn't even know nothing about it. Yeah, they, yeah that is definitely a spot on match. Yeah, that's, that is definitely the feel I get even when I'm teaching them Japanese, uh, English, man. Or, or any culture at all. It's like, yeah, I mean, you know, and I think that's where um, I can actually tell where a foreigner is actually new to Japan. They'll start talking about reforming them. Like, hey, you know, um, I'm trying to get these Japanese to do this. I'm trying to get them to do this. I'm like, they ain't going to do that. You know what I'm saying? Unless they've gone to another country long enough where they actually have like two minds. But the average Japanese is Japanese, man. Like, that's the whole point. They, they are very interested in what you have to say, like a person's interested in a Netflix show. Right, like a doc watching a documentary. Yeah, but you know how many documentaries come on in a week? I'll be like, all right, what, what was that last documentary you were talking about? You're like, oh yeah, like I remember when the, the climate change thing happened. I had so much information about climate change and shit in my head from the documentaries. Mm -hmm. And now I can't think about it. I don't know, I don't remember none of that stuff. Yeah. I'm watching a whole other set of documentaries. It's just too much information. And I'm not really interested in either one of them. And that's kind of right. how Japanese. They're like, yeah, <laughs> we're doing it now. <laughs> but it, it, yeah, it's just, inform and that's why whenever I'm talking to the kids, I always apply it to something that they can't avoid, like the electricity, because wow. it's science. This is not, because they'll quickly, oh, that's just some information, or they think I'm interesting or whatever like that. I'm like, no, 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 I'm talking about real deal stuff that you, you can't avoid. You can't, it's, it's undeniable, you right, know what I'm saying? Right. Let me see you start your, your car with, with six different uh, uh, well, types of energy. Yeah, yeah. I'll a positive, negative, a, a negative and a half, or three. Okay, let's see how far you go. Okay? <laughs> let's see how well okay, your lights work. <laughs> All right, well, then what about this then? What about just the button card where you just push one button, androgynous? The, 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 idea, uh, the idea of it's not five or six or nothing like that, but the other side where people are like, there is no man or woman, it's just one. Well, that's true, actually. It's actually true. I mean, but then if someone was to say that, all you got to do is you can put the two anatomies of a male and female up together and you can show how they correspond, the ovaries and the testes. Right. It's just that the women's are inside and the males are, are outside. You know what I'm saying? And really, 
that's what the whole thing is. Here we go. Back. Here we go. Here we go. Well, if I can show you this, I can show you the uh, the ankh. Um, mm -hmm. It's all about becoming one, right? Because that's why. And I, I remember another thing I told the kids, um, not these certain these uh, students, but other students, is when I said that's why. Um, you know, shout out to Bobby Hemadu who put this down. The males, you're that's why you're so interested in females. It's because mm -hmm. you're you're searching for the other side of you, right? Mm -hmm. You know, and that's why you can't even like I said, the LGBT, you can't shoot that down because uh just in oh, oh take that back. You can shoot down any of these organizations because you know in the in the back it's always the backdrop of some kind of white supremacist organization. But I'm talking about gay people or the gay lifestyle. Um, and again, Brother Panda broke that down, right? Talk about, um, just talk about, because really androgyny is really moving towards that. Now, if every, I'm not saying every guy that, that wants to get down with another guy or another, every woman wants to get down with another woman is on that. Um, in fact, I, I know a lot of them who really have just been sucked in by it, mm -hmm. you know, thinking it's popular thing to do, but I'm talking about on its, you know, in its core you know, in its core, because as black people, uh, despite what they try to tell you and make black people sound like we're uh, homophobic, whatever that means, mm -hmm. when you really look at it, black people are the ones who've never been homophobic. All you gotta do is go to black churches. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? We've always been um, accepting, you know, accepting. You know, when I was a little kid, you knew a homeboy was kind of kind of limp-wristed, but I didn't, we didn't tease him. We, I just didn't hang out with him, not because, I hated him, but the same reason why I played sports, this other guy, he likes uh, drawing. I didn't hang out with him. Mm. You know what I'm saying? But when I went around him, if he's talking about pictures, whatever, I'll stay as long as I want to look at pictures. But when it comes to gayness, there's never any time that I'm like, well, let me see what's going on in the, it's just not interesting yeah, it, to me. It's just, it's just the magnetism. It's like two, two minuses and two pluses coming together. Yeah, it's just not, it's just that, that push away. <clears throat> right. Right, take two magnets. You put the the the, the wrong, the positive, positive, negative, negative, and they, they repel each other. They're yeah, repelled. I, I just don't get down like that. Right, they're, I'm they're repelled. To each other, because they're they're pushing off of each other. But it's right. yeah, it yeah. repels me. That energy repels me. Mm. You know what I'm saying? So I move away from it. You know what I'm saying? Mm. Understanding that it's just not the energy for me. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Um, and yeah, the only the only other thing I'll that 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 um, you said Hitler started sal salivating when he saw um, <laughs> when he saw how this how obedient the Japanese were. Yeah, how docile. That, that image with that mustache, and he just like, <laughs> this, like this is how y'all got it. Like uh, that's and you see, he'd be like, that's that's real spit right there, dog. That's real spit. Like, <laughs> so uh, how yeah, how y'all do? It? Like, so what's step one? Yeah, how we how we do this? They show the manji. They show the manji. It, what is it? It's manji, right? Flipped is manji. What, oh, uh, yeah. the Nazi symbol, the swastika. Yeah, Japanese yeah. call it manji. manji. Yeah, yeah, the uh, yeah, the, that's the Shinto yeah. term, right? Like, so y'all use, use this symbol, huh? All right, let me. I'm gonna flip it then. I'm gonna flip it. It's flip mode squad, like. <laughs> and 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 that, like you said, real talk right there. I wondered, is that where they got that from? Because you, you know that that symbol is a sacred symbol that's been used for way longer than any Nazi party. Definitely. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Okay. All right, so uh, beside yeah, that, and there was one other thing I wanted to say, I, oh, I forgot now, um, in terms of what I, I've been just doing that. Uh, oh, I'm gonna be going on a vacation. Uh, I, oh, that's what I wanted to say. Yeah, uh, I, was, so I was scheduled to go to the United States for a book fair in, in New Jersey, and I just got a, a letter from the airline about a week ago now saying that the flight, the flight has been canceled I'm not going to be so I, you know I I have to participate in it next summer, mm -hmm. uh, so I'm not going to be able to go to the U.S. So, you know I'm 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 still but this part of Japan is just crazy crazy hot and humid. Yeah. <laughs> Even if I stay, I got to take a break. So what I decided to do is I was gonna, I'm going to go and and um, visit a friend who lives in in Toyama. Mm -hmm. Is Toyama the prefecture or the city? I think it's both. I think it's Toyama. both. I think, for sure. yeah. I think it's both. Toyama can't Toyama she I um but anyway, I it's uh it's north of here. Supposedly it's uh I hope it's gonna be a lot less humid. But in any way in any case, I'm gonna be for about three weeks to a month, I'm gonna really concentrate on writing, 
um, mm -hmm. getting them some um, and getting and getting some uh, material out, and hopefully uh, starting finally really really digging in and, and um, starting this book about Japan, and um, right. and that kind of segues into what we're gonna what we're gonna be doing uh, not exclusively, but one of the things we want to do is we want to uh, we we both we found a book. I had read the book before, but uh, again, one of the books that I, I went back and looked into over the, the break. Oh, no, don't tell me. Oh, yeah. So uh, it's called Behind the Mask. Behind the Mask, man. Is this the one you have? Uh, it looks a little different, but. Yeah, the cover might be different. Yeah. Yeah, I think it's the same one, but it's Ian Burma. So yeah, as long as it's Ian Burma, um, yeah. Ian, Ian Burma. Uh, Burma. And you got to give credit. Like, this is, you know, you got to give credit where credit is due. This is a very scholarly work to the point where there's a bunch of behind the Japanese mask, people trying to use his name who are putting information out about Japan. And they're really, I mean, I'm not saying they're not giving any information, but they, this is the book. And um, if you really want to understand what's going on in Japan, how the society gets down, how Japanese minds work, I would say that this is a really, really uh, good book to start with. Um, I got a couple books um, that I look at. Another one is, I don't know if you know about it, is one called Pink Samurai. Oh, I read that one. Uh, yeah, uh, I borrowed it from you. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, and it's talking about love and marriage. Uh, you can see yeah. sex in contemporary Japan. Um, That's a good one, too. Yeah, this one, like I said, these, 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 these guys, and this is by Nicholas Bornoff. And this guy, I mean, they're, you, you can't front on the scholarship. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm scholarship because I'm getting ready to write a book and I don't really think my book is not going to be on the scholarship level of their book and um, only because I'm really going to be talking about mo most of the topics that they've already brought out but the twist is these guys are really white they're really 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 white I'm not they're and they're writing they're white people writing to white audiences Okay, I'm black Japanese writing to black Japanese audiences. You know what I mean? Um, and my, maybe the only person that I know of who is doing so. You know what I'm saying? So, um, yeah, I'm going to be twisting, a, well, not twisting in terms of changing, but I mean putting a twist to speak to us. Okay? So what is, what is your impression? You you um how how far have you gotten in the book, and what is your impression? I'm, on, I'm like I'm, I'm I'm literally on like halfway through chapter two, so I'm really not in it yet. But, yeah, let's take a look. Uh, what's chap What's chapter two name? Let's make sure we got the same book. Eternal Mother, the Eternal Mother. Okay. Mother. Okay. Good. All right. Uh, All right. Um, yeah. And uh, yeah, I just got done with uh, the the first chapter, which Mirror of the Gods, and I'm glad I I'm glad I. Uh, he started here because um, I, I use uh, the, the two guys, Izanami and Izanagi, a lot uh, when I try to... Okay, who are they? Who are they? Okay, there, there are two gods in Japan that explain, again, what we're just talking about right now, that represent both polarities, the, the female principle and the male, the plus and the minus. And they end up getting, getting with each other. One is a sky god, one is a earth god. And... Um, there's a lot of ways the story, the way I remembered it was um, Izanami was the sky. Oh, I'm sorry. Um, uh, yeah, yeah. Izanagi was the sky and Izanami was the waves. And, and the male shot like a lightning bolt or, a, or a, a, a rod in the water into her and started stirring it around. And then out of that, Japan was born. Right. And so I, because, and I used to use that to tell Japanese, because a lot of Japanese were like, don't Americans believe a long time ago that the stork brought a baby? And like a bird brought the baby? And I'm like, well, you know, it's, it's, it's probably connected to something mythological, just like you guys have your story. Like if your kid asks you, how do, how do babies get made? And you had to tell them a story, you know, the birds and the bees and all that. They say Izanami Izanagi, you know what I'm saying? And uh, I'm, I, I wanted, I'm glad that this book started on that because I wanted to clear up the story, you know? Okay. Yeah, yeah. And also, if you look at other ancient, uh, any ancient philosophy or mythology, mm. you'll see a corresponding story, whether it's two brothers, sisters, or their lovers, depending on which mythology you read. So like in ancient Egypt, you have Asar and Aset, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. um, oh, and all of them except for da -da -da the Judeo-Christian, the Judeo-Christian, oh, 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 oh. where you're going to have, they're going to give you Cain and Abel. And again, yeah. this goes back to uh, 
I don't know which article I wrote when I'm, I'm showing you that, you know, the Western philosophy is based on homosexuality. It's based on, you know, um, you know, and that's why you're seeing this surge of the homosexuality lifestyle being, again, nothing wrong with it, but being pushed on people where you got kids thinking that, well, there's something wrong with me if I don't uh, not only uh, succumb to it, but I mean, you could have a guy coming on to you, talking to you, and you're feeling repelled, you know what I mean? Repelled, and you think there's something wrong with you. Yeah. This is trauma. This is kind of, this is a kind of, of rape, if you really want to look at it like that. Real talk. I mean, if yes. an ugly, if, a, if, a, if someone you didn't like, if an ugly girl came pushing up to you, and you got to start feeling like you have to get with her, mm. you know, you know, oh, I have to get with her. And I, I'm telling you, when I was when I was a a little when I was a little kid, you know, growing up growing up in the states, a little mixed mixed race kid, and you have these a lot of girls, they be like they liking you for the wrong reason. Oh, you have good hair, mm. and I remember dudes would be like, "Yo, you don't like her." I remember they I used to, I got this thing up. Oh, he's scared of pussy. Mm. In the hood, that's what they used to say. And I remember because like, a lot of my boys, they were having sex, and I wasn't. And um, yeah, I remember. Feel yeah, you're like damn. I still ain't got a girl yet. Yeah, no, but not even. I don't. I don't have a girl. But it was like I still don't like girls yet. No, I liked them, but it was just like it was. I wasn't mature enough. Number one, and number two, it wasn't even that. But I mean, sometimes there would be some girls that I didn't find attractive, and and they would ah. they would really be like really really like forward, mm -hmm. and I would feel pressure yeah. to acquiesce. You know what I'm saying? And that. Like I said, and this is with a female. This is so. This is not some kind of gay thing right here. And yeah, yeah. if you feel that and, and and turn it around, you know there are a lot of women who get approached by men who are powerful. Maybe they're affluent, right? Or or imagine or that isn't that what sexual harassment yeah, is? Sexual harassment is yeah. That's exactly. what that is, right? Sexual harassment. So you can't have it both ways. You know what I'm saying? It's like, but uh, but if you're gay, oh, it's okay to be sexually harassed. You're allowed to sexually harass people now. There's something right. wrong with you because you don't want a guy as a dude coming up to you or a female, you know, you, you're turned off by that. Now there's something wrong with you. Right. You know? Um, okay, well, again, Mirror of the Gods, you know, chapter one. Let's let's talk about this. Um, I gotta kind of look at it. I got some, I got some some uh highlights. I haven't looked at this one for a long time, but it goes back to, of course, whenever we're gonna talk about gods, we gotta talk about uh Amaterasu Omikami. Okay. Okay. Right. Um, the sun but, gods. Um, before that, even before that, it, it also mentions that uh, in Japan, it, it resembles the the world resembles something of an egg, like an egg. Okay. You know what I mean? And uh, what what is that egg? Is is called the um the or the oracus egg or the orifice egg? I forgot the name of that egg, but the everything's something like that. Um, okay. Uh, uh, the Orpheus egg. I'm pretty sure it's like Orpheus or Orpheus egg or something like that. It sounds familiar. You know, okay. and it's just it's just like you're like, okay, so where would that even come from? Where would you know where did that where did that idea even come from? You know, like just just the fact that we're all that connected back in the past is okay. is uh, and, and uh, also this was and I guess to uh, to to move on what Sterling's saying. Uh, when we talk about this mirror of the gods, and I, I said it a little bit earlier. The Japanese uh, pantheon, the Japanese spiritual system, of course they have unique names, but all of the ancient cultures basically have the same story, just like you can find a Christ story everywhere, whether it's Mithra, whether it's this character called Jesus, whether it's, it's Heru, um, there's numerous, numerous. There's books about it, the 16 crucified saviors. Uh, you can find that on Amazon. So this is no exception and, and, um, to many Japanese dismay. They think they're so unique. And right. a lot of times I try to bring it in like, nah, this is not Izanagi, Izanami. Again, there's just twins. This story is, is in every ancient uh, pantheon, every ancient mythology. So going back to the egg, uh, even... And I just, I just found it out. It's called Orphic Egg. It's an orphic. Yeah, I thought, I thought like Orphic, Orphic. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Okay. From that was birthed androgyny so before there was no gender zero anything no people no nothing but 
in existence, which is very, which is like an un, like a concept we can't even talk about now. Then it splits from the egg and it's a hermaphroditic uh, entity. Okay. And from there, the gods are created. Then the duality comes in between uh, the mirror. The mirror comes in, the, the plus and the minus. And, and this is nothing more than uh, the fall of man in, in other spiritual systems, right? When I mm -hmm. talked about the flaw in society, this is where the flaw starts, folks. Yeah. And also yeah. looking, and, and also going, he's talking about the egg. Uh, if you look at it, I'm reading it from, um, you know, from the first page of Mirror of the Gods. It says, out of this egg came seven generations of gods. Seven, here it is. That's the, that's the, the number of, of this universe, right? Seven days in the week, seven holes in your body. The seven is all over the place. Seven uh, notes in the scale. Mm -hmm. um, and it talks about, in the next paragraph, it says, the two were groping around in a hot lava of what? Chaos. Yes. Right? Yes. Chaos. Again, then now you have the, the whole chaos. Like, out of, out of darkness comes the light. All of this stuff is the same thing. And then they're going to talk about the sex act. Jewel, spear of heaven. That's what uh, Sterling was talking about. Mm -hmm. Right? So, Pillars, yeah. it's the same story. It's the same story in any of these ancient texts. Mm -hmm. Um... Okay. Um, let's let's try to get into it next time, man. Cause um, I hate to cut it off like this, but you know, brothers got things to do today. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, you got you got stuff to do. Um, I'm gonna probably just I'm gonna continue a little bit more and just talk about just one uh impression I had, cause I'm I'm right. looking at this right now. Um, right. And uh, no matter of fact, let, let, let's go ahead and cut it off. Let's cut it off and and prepare for it a little bit more, but. We're kind of introducing, we're getting back in. Hopefully we can make this a little bit more regular. But uh, for those of you who really want to keep up, go ahead and get this book, Behind the Mask. And while you're at it, while you're at it, yeah. while you're at it, get this book too. Yeah. Guy Kogujin, The Story, okay? Um, yes, sir. I mean, get some summer reading done. All right, like I said, we're gonna, we're gonna try to keep on doing this. Uh, those of us who, if you've been sending sending emails and asked how I was doing, how Sterling was doing, we're okay, we're fine, and we're, again, we're, we're going in. Yeah, we're going in and uh, trying to get more content, trying to up ourselves so that we can be worthy of your time and attention. Yeah. Any any final words, my brother? Real spit, man. Remember, remember, they salivating at at, at our obedience, y'all. Don't forget. <laughs> Right, yeah. salivating, salivating. So are you the obedient one or are you the controller? Are you the mm -hmm. God or are you, you the human? Basically mm -hmm. the ordinary human. Mm -hmm. I got, yes. we're gonna, we gonna end it right here. Uh, this Real Talk Forum, um, I'm yeah. Takamaru, uh, get at me. Uh, Guy Kokujin the story, guykokujinthestory.com or get at me on Facebook or uh, Taquan Amaru at gmail.com. Peace. Peace. What about you, sir? Bill and Carol, realtalkenglish.jp. All right, y'all. All right. We out of here. Peace.